Why is it important to study Hakabalah today? Hakabalah provides a geometric lattice, the tree of life diagram, for applying metaphysical concepts to it, the traits and attributes of God in the classical case, for the purpose of studying their relationships. This model allows otherwise less easily perceived insights about these metaphysical concepts to be attained and explained. In this way, the tree of life is like a template for the entire manifold of models describing similar relationships between other metaphysical concepts that can be said to, in whole, comprise a Kabbalah. If taken in this liberal sense of Kabbalah being an organically growing, living field of study, then all the modern breakthroughs made using these methods of graphically relating variable traits may be attributed to it, e.g. cybernetics and system theory in whole, being derived specifically from the intentional engineering of machines to defeat difficult cryptography. As we stand now at the brink of ideas like a quantum internet and faster-than-light encryption systems, it is not accidental that the study of the Kabbalah has become worldwide and can no longer be seen as confined solely to Hasidic Hebrews. One anti-Semitic theory that has persisted about Kabbalists and in particular the Hasidic Hebrews, states that Hakabalah is used as a method of mass mind control to suppress the mental development of the masses and allow the rule of the inbred class of monarchs. In defense against this argument, the vast publicity of the Kabbalah at present provides ample evidence for the effects of studying Hakabalah on a mass scale. Some outcomes are greatly positive, and some may be more negative, but the vast majority remain entirely benign. As Buddha put it, a fool, even if associating with a sage for a whole lifetime, will no more perceive the Dharma than a spoon perceives the taste of soup. If one perceives a Kabbalah as evil, one will likely be biased against studying it. But if one studies a Kabbalah, one will likely cease to perceive doing so as evil. Thus, claims made against the study of the Kabbalah are made in ignorance, and claims made in favor of studying a Kabbalah are usually based on personal, self-serving bias as well. Nevertheless, a Kabbalah exists regardless of whether it is suited, whether it is studied or ignored, and to this extent, it is superior to even the idea of God itself, which is everywhere known of and widely believed, but without material evidence, and logically false. A Kabbalah exists. It describes a higher dimension of reality defined by metaphysics, and the relationships between its variable terms. Study of Hakabalah holds a key to unlocking a more complete understanding of a higher dimension of maths, physics, and sciences in general. In a sense, Hakabalah is the key to the future of human evolution.